But if you head to the north side, you're going to find a restaurant that dishes out some delicious Trinidadian vegan cuisine. And they have a, some here in the studio with us today. We have the co-owner of Shadow Benny, Ulrich Joseph, with us. Tell us what you're going to make. Oh, so today I'm going to make roti, or it's called dalpuri, where it's a flatbread that's very similar to like a burrito. But it's stuffed with um, ground split peas, seasoned. And what we usually do is we stuff it ultimately with like some chickpeas or curry chickpeas or vegetables. And I stuff can't like wait that. to try it. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration for your business. Well, it's based on, on Trinidadian cuisine, which is very, um, what's the word? It's, it's very mixed because we have a, a colonial past. We also have a high population of Indians. So there's a lot of the East Indian influence in our cuisine, which is something I kind of wanted to share because um, we do have African-based foods, but it's a it's a mix. It's a mix. Yeah. All right. So you you said that we're going to actually mill some of the yeah just to peas. show you how to get the split peas ready to put it in the bread. Okay. You know. That's so great. we actually like I boil this for a little while, and then you just put it in the mill. Like so. And this is something that you do every day to, every day to make to, your yeah, dough. Yeah, because I want the, um, I want the food to be f seem fresh, mm -hmm. you know, freshly made. So when you mill it, oh look at that, it comes out like a powder, right? That's great. And you're yeah. actually, and this is what you end up with. Yeah, yeah, that's what I end up with in there, and it's actually seasoned with a little bit of garlic and stuff in there. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, you can smell that. Yeah. That smells great. So then and this is the dough that you roll out? The dough that you roll out, it's simple. It's just um, flour with some baking powder and baking soda, you know? That's great. So what we do is we actually like stuff it. With this? Yeah, with the milled um, split peas. We close it up. And then it sits for a while, maybe about 15 minutes, to get ready for the, um, for the skillet. It's so interesting. Know. I mean, it's it's almost it's like a big dumpling, yeah. or like yeah. or like you said, yeah. it could be seen as a burrito. It's you know. Yeah. And um, what happens is um, ultimately the the tricky part about it is when you fill it with the the split peas, the rolling out of it is the hard part because it could just like become a big mess. Oh yeah, so. absolutely. Okay, so now you're gonna roll this. Yeah, I'm gonna show it to you real quick. Okay. And so, this is letting it sit. It's all kind of saturated in. Yeah, it sat in a little bit and it raised a little bit for like 15 minutes since we did that. And what, I ooh, see. let me give myself some space. Yeah, you probably have more space in your kitchen. <laughs> Where is your passion for cooking coming from? My mom. Yeah? Yeah, she used to like, I'm one of those spoiled kids that mom cooked food oh, every meal, yeah. you know? And she actually taught me how to cook when I was younger. And I don't know, I never thought it would actually become my mainstay, but it is, you know. So this part, I just put some olive oil okay. on the hot skillet. And we're going to put this on. And this, has, this probably doesn't take long to cook then. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, it does. Not when, when, not when the skillet is hot. All right, that's going to fry. And while that's cooking up, yeah. tell me more about your restaurant, what people can, where people can find you. So we're on Brighton Road, um, obliquely opposite the police station. Okay. Um, right next to the Mexican Wall Streets. We open like Wednesday through Friday. Oh no, sorry, through Sunday, and um, it's pretty. It's fully vegan. Um, it's fully experience. vegan. Yeah, and it's a nut-free environment. I like to say that also. And is that part of Trinidadian cuisine, or was that something that was important to you? It's important to me, but it's also a part of. East Indian cuisine, a lot of them actually make um, vegan food to begin with, I guess for religious reasons. For sure, yeah. You know? All right, well this looks like it's almost done. And you yeah. mentioned over here what we have, so while that's finishing up, what's, what are these what's two? two? All right, so one is curried chickpeas, mm -hmm. and this one is Swiss chard, that's actually um, like fried Swiss chard. The, most of my ingredients, I try to um, locally source it, from a, a local farm called um, Crenshman Farm, so. That's great, and I've seen pictures too. People used to be able to find you at like farmer's markets. Yeah, that's how I got my name out there, is yeah. like I used to hit all the farmer's markets, and I used to do all the events, because I wanted people to have like a vegan option. Yeah. And then I got the brick and mortar about a, a little over a year ago. You see how this is raising? Yes, yeah. So that's like when you know it's actually pretty done. That's great, because we're almost yeah. out of time, and I want to try <laughs> this thing. All right. And so, so here with now your spoon. I just stuff it with the. That. And you're actually going to roll this. Is this one serving? Yeah, it's one serving. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> there's um, it's all over. And then you roll it like you close in the sides. Wow. Like this, and then you roll it. Like Holy can this. and so is this? You use my hands. Yeah. Bite in. Yeah. Do you think it's okay to bite it's in? It's fine. Now? It's okay, fine. Here we go. You're ready to go. Oh my gosh. And we put like different stuff in there, but I brought two of the like um, fillings for you. There's so much flavor. Mm -hmm. The curry from the chickpea, you get that kick. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Yeah. And it's one serving, so it's all <laughs> for me. Thank you so much, Ulrich. Thank you. For and having of course. Me.